When does she start losing all that weight? But she, she she's lost so much weight that you can't lose that much in two days. She I've never seen a child that skinny. Never. It was a case that shocked the country. In August of 2018, a Kent County couple was charged with the murder for the death of their nine-month-old daughter. Police say they found the young girl's body neglected and severely malnourished. Her parents were convicted in her death but have filed appeal after appeal to have their cases re-examined. This week, the father received news from Michigan Supreme Court. Our Michael Martin has the latest. All new tonight at 6, Michael. Max Janice, Seth Welch, and Tatiana Fusari currently both sitting behind bars, each convicted in separate trials for their daughter Mary's death. Now this week, Welch was denied an appeal from our state Supreme Court, and now Fox 17 is taking you deep into their case behind their convictions. Interrogation videos that we obtained through a Freedom of Information Act request show what led up to their arrests. It was early afternoon on August 2nd, 2018. Seth Welch calls 911. In a monotone drawl, he tells dispatch he has just found his nine month old daughter, Mary, dead in her crib. He tells them the baby went to bed at 3 p.m. the previous day, not checking on her again until 10 a.m. the day she died. Oh, yeah, she was, she was dead the door. The hours between Mary's death and when her parents called 911 had police asking questions. The baby's mother, Tatiana Fusari, is the first to sit down with detectives. I'm sorry for your loss. I know that's uh... The last thing you want to be doing is this. Neither mom nor dad are under arrest at this point. I homeschool. I have my, um, my degree in early childhood. Oh, you yeah. okay. So I thought I'd just, from being at home at the farm, I can help out with that. At least give them an initial education. They have two older children back at home. Tatiana, I'm going to be quite honest with you right now, okay? One parent to another, right? And I'm going to try and control my emotions, all right? I've been to a child death investigator school, and I've seen photos and images of children that have been malnourished. And I'm telling you right now, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh no, really? Yes. Baby Mary weighed just eight pounds at the time of her death. At what point in this illness did you think, there's a good chance she's gonna die? I didn't think at all that she was gonna die. I, I just... How could you not think that? Delusional. Fusari is adamant that the child was fed every two to three hours. She started putting on weight recently. We really started really, you know, pounding the, uh, the solid food down in the last, like, month or so. Detectives then speak with Welch. I had to split out of bed and race to the room and... You know, so they're helpless, right? Like, what, you know, what, to do. what am I going to do? Yeah. I, could, I, I, could, I could tell she was dead from looking at her. The pair say they found their child unconscious between 9 and 10 a.m. They called Seth's parents, who are attorneys, but police, they weren't called for another three and a half hours. So what did you guys do during the two hours? They sat there and cried. Yeah. Investigators gather that Mary was not taken to the doctor, despite concerns over her size, because of Welch's distrust of the medical industry and their religious beliefs. Hi, baby. Hi. How you doing? The next day, Seth is taken into police custody. When they are officially arraigned in the case, it is life without parole. They learn that they could be looking at the reality of life in prison. Do you think you've done anything wrong? Well, like I said, um, there are certainly some things that I would have, I would do differently in hindsight. 
website. Um, nothing is keeping me up at night. They are now spending their nights behind bars, both convicted in their respective trials. It used to be common for kids not to make it. Um, it's called natural selection, and it's a hard part of real life on Earth. Um, Do you think she was part of natural selection? She, I mean, she's always been small. She's always... Uh, I don't know how... She and just this week, the baby's father, Seth Welch, there in the end of that video, got news from the Michigan Supreme Court. They have declined to hear his case under appeal, meaning he will remain behind bars. Live in the studio, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.